What's up YouTube? All right, today I'm gonna to be taking a look at a new airbrush I got. I'm kind of excited about it. These have been around for a long time, um, but I, it's gonna be my first time of actually using uh, one. This is gonna be the Badger Anthem. Let's take a look at this. Right All right, looks like a nice box, nice packaging. The one, it's the Anthem 155.7. Um, it seems to have had some good reviews, uh, but I went ahead and uh, uh, took a. Just going to see what it's like. I, I am an Iwata guy. I started out with uh, started out with Pache VLs. I still use some of those, um, but this one here, I'm kind of excited to see how it works. Looks like it's a pretty nice package. It's made by Badger, so and they're really good airbrushes. So. And these are made uh, in the United States. All right, let's take it in. <laughs> Crikey, Mike! Look at it. <laughs> I'm just teasing. No, it's kind of nice. It's kind of. It's not really uh, extravagantly packaged by any means. I mean, there's a lot more. Like Iwata comes with a little bit uh, more. I think. The way it looks, it just looks, I don't know. But this hairbrush itself is, that's what we're getting right here. It's pretty nice, pretty sweet. Um, it's got a cutaway handle, but I typically take my handles off anyway. Nice engraving. Feels good in the hand, that's what I like about it. This little protection here, pop that off, take a look at the tip. Uh, some of the reviews had talked about the tip being, you know, just a little bit harder to clean, but I use a Q-tip anyway. I make, if I can on this, I don't know, I might be able to take that one off. Uh, but we'll see we'll see what it's like uh, but anyway the handle comes off got a nice little needle uh, this is how you can get access to your needle locking nut um, double action of course double action meaning push down for air pull back for paint seems to have a fairly decent trigger action and i'm sure we're going to put a little bit of lube on there the, the needle juice and we'll get that going uh, but it looks nice looks feels good uh, it kind of has the Iwata feel. It's the same kind. Um, the Pache's are a little bit fatter, and you get used to whatever, you know, when you get a new, new uh, airbrush, you can get used to it. And, you know, I pick them up anymore, and I just kind of just, I've, I've used them all so much that I just, I'm used to all of them. But this will be, I'm excited to see how this is going to, kind of, uh, how it's going to perform. So you can look what else you get. Just put one in your standard kit. Uh, you can get just the airbrush, or you can get a kit. This comes with a hose. Um, this hose is fairly thick hose but uh looks kind of nice i think it'll work uh then i'll just put my adapter on there i won't even really need this hose because i've got other hoses uh i'll just put the quick connect right here um and we'll add that to the arsenal comes with a little bottle a couple of different bottles i'll store some paints in there but other than that that's kind of what it is so i'm excited let's go take a look and see how she performs all right sweet the this again the badger it's the uh, anthem 155 so we're gonna kind of take a gander at it. Looks nice. Okay, we're just basically uh, gonna try this out here. I went ahead and put a quick connect uh, coupler on here and attached to the hose that I already had. Uh, and it just screws on right here. Badger has a different size, so these are uh, sometimes airbrush and company specific. So get you one of those, put it on there. Uh, <clears throat> loaded up some black paint. It's gonna be the first time spraying this sucker, so I'm not sure what we're gonna get. Uh, I did run some cleaner through it, uh, but the paint, uh, this is the first time with paint, so we'll see what we got. And <clears throat> right away, it kind of may put the loop it around my hand here. We're just going to see what we got. A little dot here. Nope, oh, got the cleaner out of there. All right, get the paint going here. Oh, there it is. Well, I'll tell you what, this sucker, you can feel. I can get some little dots. Get some... Right away, it feels really nice in the hand. It's got, it seems like it's got a lot of good control. Uh, you can get uh, dot patterns, kind of nice. It seems like it's, I think the trigger, I'll have to adjust just a little tiny bit on the trigger just because. Yeah, it feels a little bit, uh, it needs some lube. I can tell that the, the trigger does need some lube on it. Um, which that's something that like all of them do and that's going to be I'm used to to picking uh, The tip of my needle with my hand because I got the others don't have this little hole in there um, 
but I'm going to see if I can't get it some type of tip maybe to modify that. But if not, I'll just use a hollow tip Q-tip with some cleaner on there and uh, just kind of do that and kind of keep that tip dry down uh, to a minimum. But anyway, let's kind of see what we got here. Just kind of go on a little bit. Okay, there's the inner line. There's dagger soap. Uh-oh. See what we got happening here. Something's... I don't know if it's tip dry already, but we'll see. So, like I said, this is a right away. I I'm not a fan of having the uh, it's it's a little getting used to. I mean, I'm not gonna lie on that. It's like. Uh, it, it is something that you're going to have to adjust because it seems to be wanting to. Hmm. Um, just a little bit different. A little bit different. Than what I'm used to. We'll see um, with practice, see what it does. But um, I mean, that's, that's just like anything else. You're going to have to put the paint in there and start spraying with it and see what you can come up with and see what you get. I mean, we can get some little tiny lines in there. I'm just kind of, and I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything specific. I mean, I'm just kind of spraying and see how it goes. I mean, it definitely spits out some paint. It puts out a lot of volume of paint, which is kind of neat. I think, uh, obviously, the detail work, fine, fine detail. I think I would continue to use my custom Micron uh, and even a smaller needle on certain other airbrushes. But this is definitely, I mean, it's its a good airbrush. There's no doubt about that. This is not anything fancy guys out here. I'm just kind of laying in some stuff. Just kind of seeing what we can do a little bit. Nothing crazy on that. I'm not even going to look at that. Hit that. Get some goofy letters if you want. Okay. They're just random, goofy, cartoony tag letters. Nothing sent or crazy. But lines, I mean, you can get some pretty sweet lines. I feel the trigger is a, I can, there's something, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it's got a little bit of a, um, just a little rough right now. And now the, I can take out and let's do the spring. Maybe the tension on the spring is a little bit, I don't know, it's kind of, that might help some, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure what's happening there with this. This is, like I said, this is the first time I've used this, so. I might have to put some lube on it. I'll definitely do that. But for right now, that's kind of, I mean, we can definitely get some thin lines, get some thick coming down. Sprays, I mean, it's put some paint out. It's a definitely get some paint. The trigger, I'm gonna have to adjust the spring, and I'll do that, and we'll get back with you on that. But uh, overall, I think it sprays pretty good. It is something that that uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to, just like with anything. But it won't be just after a few minutes of spraying with it and kind of getting things adjusted and fine tuned. Uh, I think it'll be a uh, very good airbrush. Um, kind of. I don't know, I'm going to have to use it for a little bit to see um, how I like it compared to my Iwatas. But uh, it just right now, it's just it, that trigger, and it's new, it is new, but I haven't lubed it either. So uh, I may need to throw some needle juice down in there and kind of lube up some of these parts uh, to get it flowing nice and smooth. Um, but it seems to be a really good airbrush. Um, 
I wouldn't have any complaints about it. It's about, you can get just the airbrush for like 70 bucks. I'm not sure what Spray Grinder has. This one I just ordered off of Amazon. I was just in a, happened to be in a mood and just popped it and ordered it and uh, to see what it is. Nobody, um, you know, I ordered it with my own. Nobody's giving it to me for advertisement or anything like that. But that's how you can clean that tip. You can get some pretty precise little dots. The biggest thing about some of these kind of things, like with the dots and different things, you've got to keep that um, needle and um, everything clean uh, when you're trying to get way down. If you don't clean the needle and you, and you do that and let the air go back and you start to go again, you'll get a splatter. So you always have to keep your air moving on these things, but that kind of helps with tip dry. Now I'm, I'm going to have to, I can feel that trigger still not smooth like I want it. And I'm going to adjust the spring tension. I'm going to adjust, uh, maybe lube it up a little bit and see how it goes. But I think with, and with a few, uh, a couple of hours of working with it, it'll probably wear down a little bit where it gets a lot smoother. But, um, yeah, overall, I like it. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Can't see it there, but it's pretty sweet.